Hello everyone. Um, welcome to part two um, of how to design a chip bag in Photoshop. Um, if you have it already and you feel like you do, please look at the first video if you are a beginner. So um, again, this file that I have open is my potato chip bag template that I have in my Etsy store. Again, if you open it up, it looks exactly like this. You have the top and bottom ridges already laid out for you. You have the guidelines here on each side. And you also have the nutrition facts that you can go in and make changes to. So let's get started. Um, for this particular video, my daughter actually wanted me to do a lol chip bag for some odd reason she's so into lol surprise doll so that's what we're gonna do first i'm going to start with the background um i'm going to actually place a pattern so what i'm going to do is go up to file place embedded and then i'm going to get the file that i want to use Let's see. All right, so my file has been placed and it looks like this. Once it's placed, basically what I'm doing is resize it just like so. And as you can see, my file currently is like the shape of a square. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to slide this over just a little bit. Then I'm going to go to that particular layer here and right click and I'm going to go up to duplicate layer and hit OK. They basically duplicate it so I can create another side. And when you slide it over, make sure that you line it up to the file next to it so it can blend like it's supposed to now as you can see here there is like a a line that's going down the middle of my background layer and you don't want that so i'm going to go to this layer here i'm going to show you what i'm talking about right here and I'm going to right click and I'm going to rasterize this layer so I can make changes. If you do not rasterize that particular layer, you're not going to be able to do anything to it. So I'm going to then go to the left hand side to my eraser and I'm going to just erase that line out just like that. So now it looks a whole lot better. All right, now the next thing I'm gonna do, because I have two layers for my background, I'm gonna select both layers, right click, and convert it to a smart object. Now I only have one layer for my entire background, as you can see here. Now what I'm going to do, I don't wanna leave this blue, I wanna change it to pink. So I'm going to go over to my left hand side again and I'm going to select my rectangle tool here. I'm going to click on that and just basically make a rectangle over it just like that. And as you can see right now it's black. I don't want black so I'm going to double click that layer make it pink because I want pink. All right, once you get the color you want, just simply hit OK. And then I'm going to go to this option right here, which is going to help me blend. It's going to help me make my blue pink. I want the pattern, but I want it in pink. So I'm going to go here. And it has several different blending options that you can use. And of course, you can go through each one and kind of see the different looks that it gives you. 
just by going through all the options here. The option that I want to use, let's go, let's see. Let's see, I'm just going to play around with it a little bit. All right. The option that I want right here is going to be the hard light option. As you can see, it's pink, and I still have that pattern that I want. So once that is done, I'm going to go ahead and insert my LOL doll baby. So I have to go online to actually find one. Let's see. I have them pulled up already to kind of save me some time. I'm going to select this one here. Now, I can save this to my computer, but I'm not right now. So I'm just going to right click here, go down to copy image. Then I'm going to go back to my Photoshop program. And I'm going to simply hit control V to paste it in. All right, now once it's in here, I'm going to resize it just to make it a little bit bigger so I can kind of work around it. Now, as you can see, I have the black background, and I also have this little picture here beside it. So, all I'm going to do is go over to the left-hand side, and I'm going to click on my eraser tool. And I'm just going to erase a portion of this part out. This white section here, I'm going to just delete that part, and that's it. Then I'm going to go up here to my magic wand tool and select that. Then I'm going to click on the black area here. And it's going to select all the black area around my image. And I'm going to simply just hit delete. And it takes everything away that I do not need. Once I do that, I hit I'll hit Control D and then basically deselect everything and there you have it. I have my LOL doll baby here. And I'm just going to place it here for now. No particular placement. Just set it there. That way once I get all of my graphics inserted then I can kind of rearrange and you know kind of do however I feel will look the best. So now I want to also add, um, I'm going to add the Doritos um, logo. And again, that is only for the purpose of this video. So I'm going to go up to File, go down to Place Embedded. And I'm going to grab that logo, which is here. And then I'm going to hit Place. I place my logo inside the document and I'm going to resize it. Again, to resize it, you hit shift and you basically drag it in or drag it out depending on how big or small you want it. And the reason why you hold the shift key, again, is because you don't want to stretch or um, basically distort your graphics. So it could end up looking like that, and it does not look good at all. So that's the importance of holding down the shift key to kind of keep your proportions the way they should be. So now I have my Doritos logo inserted. And you just, as you go, you rearrange and you alter the way you need it to be. So I want to also add um, the LOL logo. So I'm going to go back to File, go down to Place Embedded, and I'm going to grab that here and hit Place. That will place the graphic inside the file. Again, you're going to want to resize it. You hold the Shift key and you drag it in to make it smaller. Just like that. Now, my LOL logo here does not quite 
look like the pink that I need it to be. So I'm going to zoom in. And to zoom in, you just hit Control and the plus sign, and it zooms in. And to change the color, what you're going to do is go over here to your Magic Wand tool, select the pink that's inside the logo, and to hold, hold down Shift and select to make sure you get all of it. Even the little tedious areas here, you're going to have to select that as well. Then I'm going to go over here to the left-hand side, and you're going to see the color palette here. It says black currently, so I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to select within my pink background, I'm going to select this color pink here. Just to make sure that I have the color that I want. You can either do this pink here or this pink here. So I'm going to just select this pink. And of course you're going to see it over here. You're going to see your pink selection here. So you just hit OK. And then you're going to go over and select your brush tool. I'm sorry guys. This logo... This is a prime example why I say you should rasterize your layer because when I go to my brush tool and try to paint over it, it would not allow me because it has this little mark and it won't let me do anything. So what you're going to do is go over to your layers, make sure the layer of your logo is selected, right click and click rasterize layer. That will allow you to paint over it and see how it changed. So now I'm going to paint over it just like so to kind of change that pink to kind of blend in to what I'm trying to do here. Once everything is painted, you just hit Control D, that deselect. Then I'm going to hit Control Zero to zoom out. So, so far, I kind of have everything in here that I need as of now. I might change it later in this video, but as of now, I have pretty much what I need so far. Now, what I'm going to do now is change the border colors. Right now, they're yellow, and I'm going to change that. I don't want yellow borders because it doesn't look right. So, I'm going to click on the top one here, the top border layer. Just double click and another box will appear and you just choose what color you want to use as your borders. And I'm trying to figure out what the best color would be for this design. All right, so I'm just going to do like a darker pink maybe. And I'm just going to leave it at that just for demonstration purposes. Um, I'm going to go here to my other layer, which is my bottom one. And I'm going to select the pink that I've already done at the top to make sure that I have the same um, colors for the top and the bottom. Once you do that, you just simply hit OK. And that's how it looks so far. Now, um, I'm going to add like a simple happy birthday here. And just over here to your left hand side, you're going to see this right here. It says it's your text tool. You just click on that and click into your document. And then you just start typing what you would like to put. So I have it in and I'm going to change the color a little bit so you can see it. Actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 
I'm going to add a stroke to my text so you can see it a little bit better because right now you can't see it at all. So I'm going to cancel that. You go to your text layer, right click, go all the way to blending option, and then you're going to go to stroke. And as you can see, it added a stroke. You can size it to how thick or thin you would like for it to be. Once you are happy with how it looks, you just hit OK. Then you can change your font here at the top. You can go over and change the size here. And then I'm going to just sit, sit it in the middle just like that. Might have to make it a little bit smaller. Then I'm going to go back in and change my stroke a little bit to make it a little bit smaller. So I go back to blending options, click on stroke, and then reduce the size. And then hit OK. So it looks a little bit better. Now, um, I'm going to add more to it. Okay, I'm going to go to my file, go to Place Embedded, and I'm going to add this polka dotted somewhat background here. But is that going to be my background? I'm going to make it into a border. So once it's placed into the file, I'm going to resize it and make it smaller. Now I want this border to be in the very middle all the way across. So I have it here already. All I'm going to do is go to that particular layer, right click, and I'm going to duplicate layer. So it's basically going to duplicate it. This is going to pop up. You just hit OK. Once it's duplicated, you can bring it all, all the way over to the side. Make sure it measure up with the um, with the image beside it so it can be believable. And you continue to duplicate it until you go all the way over to create a full border. And then I'm going to duplicate it one more time. All right, so I had four different squares here that I have duplicated and created somewhat of a border. Once you get your border done, and it's not necessarily neat right now, but I'm just showing you the technique. You go over to your layers and you click on each layer that consists of that particular border. And I have four. You click on all four, right click, and you convert it into a smart object. Now it's one border, just like that. So right now, it's covering some things that I don't want it to cover. So you just go to that layer and bring it all the way to the back of your um, the doll here and the Doritos and everything like that. You just bring it all the way behind them, just like that. And so far, it's looking okay. Like I said, it's just a learning tutorial, and I'm not trying to really make it perfect, but just to get you to um, kind of get how to do certain things. Um, I'm going to add like another, another black border somewhere around here. I don't know. All right, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to create another border. I'm going to make it black. And I'm going to add it to the top and the bottom. Now, I'm going to show you how to change your Dorito 
logo to kind of fit the overall theme of your um, graphic. So all you have to do is go to your layer that consists of that logo and you're going to right click that layer and you're going to go to blending options. Once you go to blending options, you're going to go over to color overlay. And it's going to pretty much look like this. You click on the color that you want it to be. And I'm going to sample that color from the inside of the graphic already. And it's going to show here what color you selected. And you just hit OK. You have blending options listed here. Basically, for something like this, you just click on Hue, or you can click on Color. You can click on any other option you would like. However, what works best would be either, like I said, Hue or the Color option, and you just hit OK. Now, see how it basically change the overall color that's what I was trying to show you that's what I want it to look like and again you can leave your logo the way that it is or you can just change the overall color like I said this is just demonstration purposes you know and let's see alright so this is how it looks so far you know, or if I was doing something like this for a client, it would definitely not look like this. But it's it's just um a kind of short with time. I don't want to keep dragging with you guys. But anyway, um, I'm thinking about adding some more LOL dolls here. So I'm gonna go back to my Google search, and I'm gonna grab another LOL doll. Uh, let's see. All right, I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to copy image. Go into my file and hit paste, which is control V. And I'm going to resize her. I'm going to bring her over up to the front where I can see it. I'm going to go to my eraser tool here and I'm going to erase this part here that I don't need then I'm going to go over to my magic wand tool and then click on the black background and just hit delete that deletes all of the background so I'm going to add her here and over here on my layers I'm going to bring her down and put place her probably directly behind the doll that I have previously. And resize it so you have the room. Because see. I'm adding a little saturation. Hit OK. Now to open up your saturation um, option, you just hit Control U, and it brings up another box and it has saturation. You just go up or down, depending on whatever you want it to look like. You just hit OK, and I'm going to add another one. And I probably get this one. I'm going to again copy image straight from Google, which I don't recommend you do. And go back to my file and hit Control V. That paste that pastes it inside of your file. I'm going to adjust it. And again, I need to get rid of this background around her, so I'm going to go to my magic wand tool here and select 
the white portion of the image. Once it's selected, you just hit the backspace key or the delete key, and it just basically takes it away. Now I have all three here. And I'm just right now just adjusting how they all look. I think it's pretty good the way it is now. All right. So this is pretty much a little bit more um, then the basic video that I've done, it kind of show you how to um, cut out images, cut the background out in an easy way, how to do a little bit more adding borders, um, adding patterns, changing the color of the patterns. And here in the nutrition facts, all you do is to change the wording. All you have to do is go to your text tool and you click on the inside of that particular text and you can just change the text over here to whatever you want to change it to. It's very, very easy. So I think that is about it. And I really, really hope that you were able to follow through this video. Um, again, if you have any questions whatsoever please comment below um, if you want any additional help please let me know and I will create another video anyway thank you so much for watching please make sure you subscribe and until next time bye